Hello everyone and thanks for joining us. Today we are looking at the topic figures of speech. The objectives for today's class are 1. Identify expressions that contain figurative language, explain the meaning of such expressions, and use figures of speech in creative writing. So it is expected that having learned some figures of speech, you will be able to use them in your creative writing. Now, some common figures of speech we have are simile, personification, metaphor, oxymoron, alliteration, hyperbole, rhetorical questions, euphemism, synecdoche, and onomatopoeia. Now, let's look at simile. What is simile? Simile is a comparison of two unlike things with the use of hearts or like. For example, she sings like a nightingale. She sings like a nightingale. Nightingale is a bird. Now when you're comparing the way she sings with a nightingale, it's not that she's a nightingale, she's a bird, no, but you are trying to tell us how sonorous her voice is. So the use of like or has is as fast as a cheetah. Okay? So these are examples of simile. You're comparing the way she sings with a night without of a nightingale. That's it. Also, you have another example of figures of speech. We have personification. Personification involves giving non-human the attribute of human being. Giving non-human the attribute of human being. For instance, you have um, expressions like the sun is smiling, that is talking about how the sun is shining. You have the trees are dancing, the trees are waving, things like that. Now those ones are examples of personification. The tree waving, sun smiling, giving non-human um, object the attribute of human beings. You can also have an example like this. The pair was dancing during the exam. Now this is talking about how fast the pen was when the person was writing the paper. The pen was dancing during the exam. Now, the pen is non-human. So when you say the pen is dancing, non-human cannot be dancing. So that's what we mean by personification. You personify that. Also, you have another one, which is alliteration. Alliteration is another figure of speech that is um, very, very useful when you're, when you're forming your poem, you're writing your lyrics, or for rhymes and all that. For instance, you have um, words like man made money, money made man mad, man made money, money made man mad. Now, this is talking about excessive love for money. Man made money, money made man mad. So this is an example of alliteration. How you have the letter ma, the letter hem, that is the sound ma, at the beginning of all the words. You have ma, 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 and and ma. Now this will help you when you are composing your lyrics, when you are composing your poem. Okay, alliteration also helps. So also assonance, which is the sameness of consonant of, of vowel sound rather, at in your words. So that's that. In the Google Classroom, please pay attention to the instructions given. There are other attachments for detailed explanation on this topic. And please, when you're done with your work, turn it in as attachments through the Google Drive. Thank you, and see you in the next class. Bye-bye.